Hi guys. I'm just gonna start because you're both here already. <laughs> I'm guessing you're asking if Nathan and Isaac were allowed in my house because they went without pants for a year. <coughs> Yeah, we have a rule about external visitors. External visitors must have pants. Um, when Nathan and Isaac were, I forget, one, two, they were allowed without pants because it was the only way that they would actually use the toilet. If they had pants on, they thought they had diapers on and so they wouldn't bother. Dale can come without pants so long as his mother cleans up after him. So that was an interesting conversation to start the stream with. Let's... I want to know what the controls are. Before I get going. Yeah, okay. WASD. Basic shooter controls. <clears throat> so let's do this. This creepy, creepy game. <laughs> right? For anyone watching this on YouTube or on Twitch later, this is going to be amazing. Let's start this creepy thing. Oh no, I want Cassie to talk. I don't know Cassie. I want to get to know her. This is Perception. It was... I backed it on Kickstarter about two years ago. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who quiet to trust. so Cassie can talk. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. This isn't even the terrifying part Sons yet. How we see. Listen, tap your cane. Ooh. It's a coffee mug. Right, excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. I can move. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Ooh. Okay, so I'm basically Daredevil. <laughs> Honestly, Christy, I don't know how much I'll be able to play. You can watch me be terrified at things. But the echolocation... Oh, yeah. Doesn't work so well in snow. The echolocation is very interesting. Such an interesting mechanic. And having a blind daughter myself, I thought... That's why I backed Hello? it, basically. Those two things. Listen, I need to do this. Why is there a fourth at all Pikachu walking down your hall? Jokes and humor are welcome to take the edge off. I kind of want clicking to be my echo location. Oh. So she hears things in green. Run. Can't run. Can't crouch. My footsteps make noise. Okay. Diligence. 
Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Moving out? Or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. I basically want to tap my cane all the time. Unfinished swan. <coughs> so what is like this game about unfinished swan? That's <laughs> like your tap dance. Well, I know eventually there's going to be something here that, well at least I fear, there's eventually going to be something that like hears the cane and comes after me and then I don't know what I'm going to do then. But until the game kills me... We will just tap, tap, tap. Oh, you paint it to see where you're going. What? Huh, why did it do that? I'm tapping the plants? Got a radiator. What? I didn't turn around. Cassie, you're here for a reason. Game turned me around. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there. I mean, I didn't make the camera turn around. I hate, hate. Hate fire. Okay. Fine. A rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. Yeah, I know they're dead. This fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Wait. What was that? A memory? Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you read that? What? What is going on? Oh, tap, 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 tap. If you're here, get out here. Pizza. Okay, so the way the game grabs the camera from me whenever there's, like, something freaky. Very interesting. I, I don't know if I like it yet. Why is this green? Is it because I can hear things behind it? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, you know, disembodied footsteps. That's all. This cane can double as like a like a club, right? But my echolocation can see who made the footsteps. Okay, so the game's forcing me back the way I came. Was this here before? I guess so. Yeah. Remember this wall being there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Felicia's pregnancy suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. Sometimes she just smiles for no reason. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate. 
chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. Okay, so that was dearest husband. Stairs. And a door I can't get to. <clears throat> Alright, let's go up the stairs. Okay, landmarks and memories, except that that card didn't appear in green. But whatever, I'll trust you. Game saved! Great! That definitely means I'm gonna be safe. What was that? Sixth sense? Oh wow, okay. So that's my sixth sense. I pressed control like they told me to. And told me to go over there. Her sixth sense is very bright. Can't open the door. And the door closed. Okay, so there's things here. All right, we're gonna say ghosts. What? <laughs> what happened? Did I die? Yeah. Probably just parts of the level they didn't get to. Now Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. Aww. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> Wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. <laughs> Brought that back. Mm, Sixth sense is telling me to go that way. Okay. Conspicuously in the middle of an empty room. <laughs> Moths, I guess. I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? I really don't understand either, Cassie. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. What? <laughs> what? Creepy. Looks like an open door down there. Let's go towards the creepy. Yep, my sixth sense wants me to go down there. 
you don't have to tap, you can just... Okay. <laughs> it doesn't help that the sixth sense is kind of creepy by itself. Okay, so there's a bodyguard and someone trying to mess with me. <laughs> huh. An open window. Someone made an arrow out of, uh, what are these? Hands of soup? It was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. Huh. Okay. What the hell? Who's here? Come here! Oh good, they closed the door behind me. So, bodyguard and someone messing with me. Your theory is stronger and stronger, Eric. Somebody throwing up? Oh, okay. sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> All right, so we got a ghost of Felicia. And Sixth Sense says go way the heck out there. I can't, I can't get into that door. I know my sixth sense told me to go there, but I want to go here too. See, it, this is neither a landmark nor a memory. It's just a fireplace. Oh, okay, that's the arrow. So I have no mental map of this place at all. I'm basically lost. I'm just following the sixth sense wherever it tells me to go. Hi! You're super creepy. I'll just walk over you. Oh, I can run, huh? Darn, I was actually kind of hoping I couldn't, because then I wouldn't have to. Uh... Where do I go? Oh. Oh, you're a bird, okay. And we're in a garage. Eh, you keep making noises, bird. My sixth sense tells me I want to go in the car. It's just a bird! Relax, man. <laughs> I'm glad you have the giggles. I'm missing parts of chat, I'm sorry. What's that? Is that the wind out there? The wind. Grab pills! What? What is Delphi? I have an app! Oh. Patient Briar Felicia, twenty milligrams. That's a cool sodium. app. Tabs, instructions: take twice daily with water. Doctor Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Okay, so we got a pregnant lady. Doc, husband's a doctor. Pretty sure one or both of them are dead. Oh yeah, where am I going next? That way? Why can't I open this? Eh, whatever. <laughs> 
Cassie said that was a ghost. What's that? New text message. Oh, it's my phone. <laughs> hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I, know that I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Okay, run across the creepy whatever this is. Not that it seems to matter. I'm taking solace in the fact that so far, it's just like, the game is just creating creepiness. Different. I'm not actually dying. Ooh. Hey, there's a baby gate. Okay, surely Cassie, who's got to be 20s, 30s, you can climb over a baby gate. But I guess not. Can I go around that way? I don't really want to run. Running scares me. I'll be out in a bit. Um, Good. Just, just leave it on the bar, honey. See, Felicia's Thank okay. You. <laughs> Water and two foot walls. Now, why is my sixth sense leading me to something different? It was leading me, or is this the doorway it led me to, and now it changed? What's that? Oh, okay. Mm. And the anti-pharmaceutical movement. Do no harm, my ass. One of my colleagues going to get back to what matters, the patient. A commentary on the state of pennies. This dribble serves no one. <coughs> okay. So, a crazy doctor. I'm supposed to place the pills. I'm gonna guess that's my sixth sense telling me that. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Is that what I've been doing? The sixth sense feels a lot like the game telling me what to do. I don't feel like I'm exploring so much as I'm just... <laughs> oh, you're right. The ghost woman said put it on the bar. Okay. Well, I still feel like I'm just following sixth sense on rails here. Which, given how creepy this game is, I don't mind so much, but... Right. Not a ghost. The bodyguard lady that put the pills on the bar. And now we're going to whatever that... House is listening. Is this where I can die now? Who is master of the world? Man or the insect? Nature's most precise creature, representing three tenths of all forms of life. You know what? I actually want that on. Thanks. Nothing stops the insect. What the hell does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Why those items? Okay. We'll go to that in a second. Listen to more crazy. Close that door. I like closed doors behind me. Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving 
forward with a combination of monoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. What did he do to his wife? What would Dr. Breyer use for a code? Something <coughs> important to him? Oh no. Okay, it says the house is listening, but I gotta find a code. And something's breathing around me. That's great. Yeah. Anyone see anything that could be a code? Four-digit number? Hmm. I do not recall anything that could be a code. Doesn't help that I can't read. I'll just smack everything around here. Okay, so what, like a birthday? Yeah, I know. Oh, don't tell me that. I gotta find a code. I'm in the bathroom. I don't know that I want to flush the toilet, to be honest. Uh, okay, so now I understand the green landmarks thing, because if I'm spending most of this, <laughs> great, if I'm spending most of this game walking around in silence, I need the landmarks. Okay, so that's the TV. All right, so here now, finally, we have kind of a game. Oh, that's not the TV. That's some kind of radio. There's a painting I can't see. Hey, that's really interesting that there's like paintings in here, but obviously I can't see what they are. Okay. Yeah, see, I want to flush the toilet, but then it told me noise attracts enemies, so I'm a little worried about that. Okay. Even if it's just to get it out of my periphery. He sees this creepy thing. But there's no numbers in the creepy thing. <laughs> well, I think that's a good trade, Kirsty. Good thing they, whoever lived here, left all this stuff on. Missing radiators and whatnot. Scan with Delphi. Numbers? <coughs> One, some kind of woman, somehow, somehow connected, connected to the tree. Two, other people, seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Betty? Some man with a mustache. Three, that song. Four, the noises. Five. Misaligned chakras. 
Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. Oh. I'm fine. Good. The bodyguard says everything's Sandy's fine now. Fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. Hmm? Alright. Oh, of course I can't open that door. So now what? Let's back up here. Oops. And tap. Yeah, I know, I hear you, but I gotta tap, because I basically can't... Oh, that turned off. Well, that sucks. Hmm, more paintings. I just want to know where to go, where to look. <clears throat> Sixth Sense says that way. Not turning that off. Oh, okay. Oh, and the door. Why did I not see these things before? Bathroom. <coughs> <laughs> No. Oh, you missed what the bodyguard said. The bodyguard said, I'm fine, everything's fine. Just come back to bed, Richard. So the bodyguard says, what? I suddenly don't feel so good. Oh, there you go. It is filled with gas. So we're in some kind of library. Can't see a thing. <clears throat> you think Richard is trying to mess with me? Hi, Dad. We're playing a super creepy game. In which I'm blind. And the game told me if I make too much noise, enemies may try to find me. Delphi, text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is I see two thousand one hundred eighteen. Okay. A faith. Twenty one eighteen. Sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try two one one eight for that key code. Thanks, game, for telling me that. Uh, where are the stairs? There they are. Alright, 2188. Yeah, Some kind of creepy ghost bodyguard. I think that is where I'm supposed to go. Uh, 
Đấy. There we go. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. Uh, just in case you missed the clue. <coughs> I don't know she told me to, and then the game told me to, and the game's not really giving me a choice. Rec room key. Okay. I'm guessing that's through walls. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Going through walls. I'm kind of hoping... Why can't I go in anymore? I know. My fingers fumble keys and sometimes... I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this... Body, I don't want any more pills. I don't like where this is going. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. But you know, like uh like hide. I can hide. But like Abzu is like that, and I love Abzu. Where am I hiding? Oh, okay, so I can hide behind the painting if something decides to come for me. But I'm kind of hoping that if I just don't tap very often, that this won't be a problem. Hoping the game doesn't force me into a situation where I have to tap a lot. I gotta find a door. Closed door? Oh, right, this room. I've heard Firewatch is really good. Game saved. Oh yeah, where's my sixth sense telling me to go now? Found one of Felicia's paintings today. Mm -hmm. While I did in fact encourage you to take up this new hobby after seeing this piece of Well it sickened me. Made me question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject. Okay, what'd she paint? Somebody tell me, because I can't see it. Oh, Glory's Wondercraft? Oh, what? What? What was that? I don't know what that was. Tap. Oh, oh good. So whatever that was, it's gone now. That's great. But I'm in an arcade. <laughs> great. Loads of noises in the arcade. Oh, and a door I can't open. Oh, and I guess that's my sixth sense leading me that way. Yeah, well, that's what's scary, is when you can't see what it is. I mean, that's intentional. That's classic horror trope. Loco. 
loquacious. Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. Lately, every time I tap, something goes skittering, which is fun. <sighs> okay, there's something up there. Where's the stairs? Now, one serious problem, and I suppose the echolocation sort of covers this, but is the fact that if I were in fact blind, I could feel my way around. There's the stairs. Okay. Creepy thing. It's a lot of jump scares. And they are in fact scary. I do not like. Who chose this game? Oh, I'm gonna get up there. A frog. Am I stepping on bubble wrap or something? From my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. The sort of spirits that oh, bind don't us. Don't fall in love with spirits. If a gem or an <laughs> herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? Okay. Am I a sculptor? <laughs> uh, it's possible that there are noises from my real life house. I don't know what you're hearing. The noises I hear are all this house. If you hear children, that's my house. See, that sounds at least as loud as my tapping cane. Okay. This has got to be interesting to watch when I'm not tapping. <laughs> okay, I gotta tap. Oh, um, it's a bathtub. Okay. And a creepy doll. Wait. I examined the doll. Did something, like, take it? <laughs> Great. Um, you might be hearing Cindy washing dishes. Okay, a card. I planned on painting my own set of tarot cards when we moved in. Now I just can't seem to do it. The cards and their symbols seem to take a life of their own. I don't want to use them. Yep, those are pretty much the noises of the game. Uh, no, I don't really want to close the door. I want to figure out where things are. There's a teddy bear. Is this like a second baby room? Stepped on something again. Oh, I can't open that door either. 
Come on. How am I supposed to find where this thing is? No, oh, now I'm back here. That's a good point. Arrow cards. I didn't think of that. Hooray for Fool's Errand. Teaching us about all those things. Tap. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Okay, look! <laughs> I'm tired of stepping on whatever that is. Somebody left bubble wrap on the floor. Okay, I grabbed that card already. What is this green thing? Oh, that's the other door. Okay. I see it through the wall. Did I miss this door? No, no, no. This is where I'm going. And I'm in a bathroom. So this is useless. Okay, let's see if we can avoid the bubble wrap. Nope. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I kind of went up there for nothing. For a doll and a card. This just adds more creepy stuff. Uh, no, that's that's how I got here. I need to find what's in the rec room. There's a door I can't open. Okay, tap! Skitter, 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 skitter. How did that door get closed? Did something skitter it closed? open. Well, I'm a little lost. Do you want me to go somewhere up that way? I'm mostly lost because I'm afraid to tap. And there's loads of doors I can't open. Here again. Yeah, yeah, skitter, skitter, skitter. An extra five to ten second delay on top of the normal delay? Or just a five to ten second delay? Because that's normal with streaming. So is this a place I haven't been yet? I have no idea. And I don't want to tap. So, so far I found a single place to hide. No, I think I've been here before. Yeah, that's just the arcade. I'm just going to keep pressing six cents. Uh, 
<laughs> well, I am getting closer. No. And now I'm lost. <laughs> See, I didn't tap that time. I just swished through the air. They can't hear that. <sighs> Maybe there's some game I can play. Any of these work? Use it. All right. Well, that's all I get. So, I don't hear skittering when I'm doing these. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess these are normal house noises. Because the ghosts run the arcade half the time. A secret passage here. Oh. Okay, I see what you're saying, Glorious Wondercraft. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the game's just gonna make me stuck. I'm going to tap. I'm not sure what else to do here. I feel stuck. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I meant to open the door, not tap it. Something's going to get me just because I'm clicking the wrong button. Oh, this was on before. How do I turn it on again? Why won't it turn on? There you go. Oh, okay. You know what? Hiding is creepier than not hiding. <clears throat> okay, so I found a place to hide. By the TV. But that doesn't help me. Because I still can't get up there. Let's try just leaving the rec room. Okay, Glory. Nice to meet you. And thanks for watching, by the way. No, I already know this is the bathroom. stairs around here, weren't there? Oh, okay, so you're the... That's right. That's where I can hide. If I need to. the footsteps don't seem to draw anything to me, because that would be troubling. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
it's really hard to make a mental map of this space when... Well, for one, I can't see most of it, and two, I can't... Like, I'm afraid to go fast. I don't know, it's way far away. <clears throat> so the game basically guided me perfectly too perfectly for a while, and now it ceased to guide me at all. Nope, I'm in the bathroom. I guess I'll flush it. Since we've learned that house noises don't matter. Yes. All toilets have been flushed. We're good. I don't have a strong idea of how this place is mapped out. I have a weak idea. Okay. That was creepy. Oh, toilet. Can I open things in there? No. <laughs> hey, nothing skittered. Okay, so I got the key to get into this place with the arcade and everything. My sixth sense is telling me to go to whatever that is. But when I try to go towards it... Yeah, that's fine. Play that. Are these doors closing themselves? These doors are closing themselves. So I've already been to all these places. It appears this method works best with patients that are loquacious. So I want to use things. <laughs> well, that is really interesting, Glory. I'm glad to know that this game does a good job of representing it. My daughter is not... I don't think she's quite aware enough yet to be able to explain what it's like for her. Is that a door? Why can't you open that door? Um... But I do know that she is typically terrified of new places. No, see, I've been here before. That's where I came in. And these are the doors I can't open. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Hmm. Well, now I'm scared and frustrated. I know, I don't want to tap more though. Because then I'll just be scared. <laughs> well, I wonder if it's like if I tap a lot in the same general location, 
will they find me, but if I keep moving, maybe they won't. Okay, this is where I came in, right? Yeah, it's still where I came in. Boy, she can see some fine detail on that door. Yeah, our daughter, I mean, she, she, like in bright sunlight, she can actually see some. I get up there. That doesn't make sense. I know, skitter, skitter. There's the place to hide. There's the paintbrush. just in here again. Doggone it. It says to go... What? Now it's saying a different direction. Let's try going up the stairs. I'm like the worst blind person ever. I'll go up the stairs in a second. I'm gonna... There you go. Let's see if there's anything around here. Is if something comes after me, I don't think I'll know. I won't really have a chance to hide. <laughs> um, this is. That's true, I am brand new to being blind. Text to speech. And it's also not real blind. Rich. I'm hoping the package the staff and I sent you made it. We know coloring books and crayons are advanced for your child, but we thought it's something Felicia could bond with your baby over, once he or she is born, of course. So you can continue your hobby. We enclosed the latest published star chart. I figure the light pollution out there is exponentially smaller than here. Sally jokingly suggested to include some chakra stones for Felicia just to piss you off. But we all remembered how your face would turn be red with frustration because of your hippie wife's beliefs. I also hope your new practice is doing well. Hope to hear from you soon. Your colleague, Frank. Hmm. I don't recall seeing that. There's something... Okay, so we found something new here. <clears throat> Big scary tree. Uh... Oh. Well, I was hoping it was something new. It does not appear to be. Can't go anywhere. the door again either. Mm, no, nope, that's where I was. That was the staircase. That's the big, windy, scary balcony.
Touch Talisman. I thought I had a memory of the night sky. Not sure if that's possible. I wonder what the stars sound like. That's sweet. Well, shoot. I thought I'd found something new, and I kinda did, but... There's nothing up here. What is this? Can I, like, hear a door behind that? Oh. Let's continue towards this, if we can. Oh no, we can't. It's the same thing. <laughs> I got an achievement called Still Doing This. I don't know if it's related to flushing or just wandering around. I'll grab the creepy doll with the creepy whispering. I keep finding these little things in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little soggy. Oh good. Creepy. Okay, I can hide under the bed. Tossing and turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. <laughs> this baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. <laughs> All right. Good thing all the doors are super creepy. Grab rock. I've always loved this agate's healing properties, but last week when I had a stomach ache, I went to touch it and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. There's lots of cool, creepy things going on around here, but I'm still mildly frustrated that I don't know where to go. Haven't I been in here before? I mean, is this the same nursery? I think it is. So why couldn't I? Why wasn't I in all those other rooms before? <laughs> Every time I click my sixth sense, it does the same camera and hissy thing as when there's like some jump scare. 
which I guess is the game's way of encouraging me not to hit Sixth Sense. I also don't know where it's telling me to go. Alright, I'll just keep following it. Might as well. I don't know where else to go. <laughs> Menu? Delphi. Text to speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. That's all you got to tell me? I guess that's one of her cravings. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. There's the creepy box I can hide in. What is whispering? Come on. Game's creepy enough. Oh man, I'm here again! <laughs> really, it's only the cane tapping that breaks things. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I already got this, right? Rich, I'm hoping the package the staff and I sent you made it. We know coloring books and crayons yeah, yeah, are advanced yeah. for your child, but we thought it's something Felicia could bond with your baby over once he or she is born, of course. Oh, so I tapped the door. Whoops. Hobby, we enclosed the latest published star chart. I figure the light pollution out there is exponentially smaller than here. Sally jokingly suggested to include some chakra stones for Felicia just to piss you off, but we all remembered how your face would turn be red with frustration because of your hippie wife's beliefs. I also hope your new Yeah, well, some of it's the lack of cane tapping. Your colleague, Frank. Maybe all of it. <laughs> it's possible. But the game ta taught me. Or told the game is doing a very good job teaching me not to tap my cane. Or at least telling me not to. Really, it probably the game probably should have just let me it should have showed me what tapping my cane too much could do. Like, there should have been that's true. Well, like, there should have been something that chases you early on, but then it's easy to get away from it, you know? Yeah, I don't know. This house is crazy. Alright, we'll try tapping more. Although I'm sure it's <laughs> doubly frustrating for you guys. Because you mostly just see a black screen when I'm not tapping. <laughs> Feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. <laughs> okay, this looks like a new space. 
There's a box. I don't want to hide. Hiding's creepy. Sounds like. Yeah, I don't know. This tape and another one didn't have subtitles. Usually long. You're not working anymore. Day are back. I, I don't know what to do. They won't shut up. They just keep going on and on about nothing. They started talking about me now. It's like they're gossiping behind my back. Okay, so the doctor gave out lots of creepy pills. <laughs> yep. Um. Oh no, so this is places I've been. So where. Uh. This was the new place. With that step that creaks. the rock. There's the nursery again. Very confused. Alright, hide in the box. Seriously, that hiding animation is creepier than anything I've seen so far. sure where to go now. Yep. <clears throat> Be scary. I got a big cane I'm gonna hit you with. Oh, there's the rope. Okay, so I have been here.
Go down these stairs. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this doctor. Maybe we should go outside again. There's another hidey box. Creepy whispering. Let's try going up these stairs. I don't think I think it was a dead end up here. This is where the rec room key was, but Oh no. Now we're here again. I'm just lost. Bathroom. And the sixth sense is no longer helping me. Okay, so there's the mobile. The nursery again. I need more landmarks. Wow. Creepy Ghost really didn't like that one. The Sixth Sense was super useful in the beginning. And then, like, now it's useless. It's actually misleading me, it feels like. Or I'm just missing something obvious. Where's the front door? Okay, that door just whispers at me. Nope. No more nature walks. This pregnancy has made me so clumsy. <clears throat> Every time I try to take a stroll outside, a I stroll. twist something. I can't wait to get my balance back. <laughs> Physically and spiritually. Okay. Cool. You don't want to turn that on? Fine. Yeah, I don't know. Man. Huh. You can actually see something in those paintings, I think they are. Yeah, the sixth sense has basically become useless now. There's a hidey box. What is over here? Ouch. Looks like I've been here. Yeah, I was looking for the numbers when I came through here. Well, I've been... Lately, the sixth sense just leads me towards the same single thing. And if I follow it directly like I did to the others, it kind of... It leads me to a dead end. Oh, bathroom again. Well, here we are again. Find that. See, it guides me up that way. These doors all closed again. Okay, so we are in the rec room. We got the key to get in here. But apparently not enough keys. Maybe I need to find more keys.
I wish the game hadn't told me that tapping may attract enemies. I'd really rather be shown that. But then again, that's the only way I have to look around. I mean, if I, assuming that I have to find small things. It appears this method works best with patients that are... Ah, uh, yeah, loquacious. Loquacious than others? Frank was never the chattiest patient I'd ever had, but the remote sessions are not quite working for us. I'll be calling one of my colleagues shortly to see if he can accommodate Frank into his patient load. <laughs> the game scares me. The worst that can happen is I die. games are these? I want to play them. And how come I can't use all of them? I can only use some of them. And I can't go in there. Oh, there's a door behind the bar here. Once again, sedated and resting. Part of me wonders if the strange sounds around this house aren't just signs of its age. That a ghost? I'm frightened of this place and of my own wife. I spend most of my time in the turret telling Felicia I'm working and watching the baby. In reality, I'm cowering. Okay, so that's not the same. Okay, so I need another number lock. Great. Anyone remember any numbers? It's still leading me up in the same place. I'm thinking what I need to do now is find a key. Yeah, yeah. That was an extra creepy noise. Found one of Felicia's paintings today. While I did in fact encourage her to take up this new hobby after seeing this piece I well it sickened me. Made me question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject matter. All right, the bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Glory. Up, the princess and I'm being too cautious. My mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and We found a lot. For my future husband. Need a combination for it. It wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. The sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? I was called you a killer frog, Felicia. Okay, so there's gotta be like a card, or a note, or something. Planned on painting my own set of tarot right. cards when we moved in. Now I just can't seem to do it. The cards and their symbols seem to. The sixth sense like keeps leading own. me to the same place, but I'm pretty sure it's behind it. a locked door, and there's no other way around it. Leads me that way to whatever that little shape is. I was hiding under the bed, the safest thing. I can't flush that. Oh well. There's the frog. 
<laughs> well, don't worry, Kirsty. I'm still going to be lost a lot. Somebody's fixing a TV. a painting to hide behind. Creepy, creepy sounds. stuff. Wait, how am I still finding new things? Now those crystals hold the sound for longer. Oops. I'll go back into that room in a second. But... Have you come to play? Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> right? can hide in the shower and there's creepy candles in here now this is oh 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 found a thing First the sage brushes now this how does malachite crack it's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just just shatter like that? Oh, good. All the crystals shattered. As I looked at them, okay. I have no idea where the sixth sense is telling me to go now. There's like nothing. It points me in a direction. Door I can't open. I know. Yep, maybe. And hello, Eagle. Or however you prefer I pronounce your name. Okay, let's see what else. We're finally close to something. A key. I know how to raise my baby. Give me the goddamn key to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. Hmm. That key was in this room? Why didn't it show up before? Nothing seems to be coming after me. Alright, follow the sixth sense through the bathroom.
towards that door. Uh, gotta go downstairs somehow. <laughs> well, the bodyguard hadn't put a key there yet, of course. Right, that creepy bubble wrap. Mm, there should be stairs around here somewhere. I've been here before. Man, we left a lot of bubble wrap on the floor of this room, and I'm not scared of it anymore. Well, a little bit. Not as much, because I know that only my cane attracts the creepies. Play that. Tom, well, nice to meet you, Tom. Okay, so now we're in the solarium. Explore for next goal. Okay, six cents doesn't work, but it does give me text. All right. Creepy whispering. Like at some point, we're gonna need to talk about this. I don't understand. Is it Richard doing this? Or the house? Yeah, you and me both, Cassie. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't Creepy. know how. the same thing. I've taken none of his prescriptions. I still see it. I still see it. I still see it. Okay. What is it about that tree? I feel it too. Okay, bye, Dad. Thank you for watching. Gotta be a door around here somewhere. Come on. Oh, wow, there's loads of stuff. Of course, I can't slip through it. Are these the same pills? Is stuff, like, moving around in here? Yeah, I guess that's the same. Nothing seems to be chasing me. What's that? Oh, hide. Okay. It's a creepy painting. Why am I still seeing it? Who's Betty? I'm just bang on all these paintings. I'm sure they're not, you know, important to anyone. Right. 
Oh good, a bubble wrap room. Is that my phone? Hello? Where are you? What? You sound creepy too. Search. What's up? Where are you? Oh, you are creepy. Okay. I'm in a weird... I don't know, I guess it was a nursery. There's bubble wrap everywhere. And I can't get out. Shouldn't you be at 30,000 feet right now? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh good! Hello? <laughs> oh good. Whatever you are. I'm not afraid of you. Uh, you hear me? Disagree, I think you, you are. Can't scare me. I know there was so much bubble wrap. Get a hold of yourself. And it never ends. Wait. How do there's nowhere to hide in here. I can't get out. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow, someone is insane. No place else to hide. So what? Am I hiding here? Uh I'm really confused. And technically only scared because the game is telling me to hide, even though... I can hide back here. Bubble wrap makes everything echo-located, yes. So... Can I hide here? Every other place said, like, hide. What the heck are these things? Well, okay, the fear is starting to go away because nothing's happening. I'm just kind of clicking on everything. I can't open these doors. <laughs> yeah. These things are pleasantly creepy. Hide! Okay. Ugh. Well, that was less scarier than it could have been. Well, that would have been scary if it actually killed me for not doing the thing. What are you, a bird? A monkey? Hey, Eugene. Yeah, this game is especially creepy. Yeah, it was some kind of cocoon or something that I was hiding in. Oh, wait. So I'm back where I was. Okay. And now I have a six, six sense going on again. The baby is cold. I have to warm her. Okay. Cold. What? 
No, no, not fire, not here. Aww. No, 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 not the baby. Gotta move fast. Really? You mean like that last time? I need a fire extinguisher. So for those just tuning in, Cassie is our narrator, and she's blind. I can tap my cane to echolocate. Supposedly, if I tap my cane too much, something comes after me, but the game just told me that, and so far, it hasn't shown me that it's true. And then I also have this sixth sense thing where I can... There we go. I'm gonna go back to the fire. No, don't Stop pick up the phone. With me. When have I ever fucked around with you? Serge, it's actually you. In the flesh. It sounds like you can use a hand. I have a literal fire to put out. Wait a minute, don't hang up. I'll call you back. So yeah, you are Cassie. Okay, there we go. And I don't- I didn't actually need to move fast, I'm sure. Can I just walk through it? Oh. Uh... <laughs> okay. So now I'm in a burned room. Six Sense wants me to go that way. Yeah, sometimes when I tap my cane, creepy things happen. Oh good, I'm going to the creepy baby bed. Is this where I was before? Did it actually burn up? Honestly, that fire didn't feel real to me, and not just because the game is like scripted events. Oh. Patient showing signs of progress. She is accepting the switch to bottle feeding and is no longer Wait a moment. What's that? I uh must be hearing things. I, I need more sleep. Hello? So the story here as far as we can tell What's that? Who's th who's there? This guy is the a doctor. The husband of Something. this woman, Felicia, who is pregnant. Felicia! No, 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 this. He's not this a good doctor. Fucking house! It made Felicia burn her family alive. Okay. Why is it tormenting these poor people? I, I thought I was supposed to fix it, to stop it. What, what, what am I even doing here? I don't understand. Cassie came here because of some dreams that she had or something. This is all wrong. She's a little mini psychic. Now. Okay, yeah, gotta get out. I guess that's where I'm going. Yeah, we don't understand either. It's okay. Let's go down the stairs. So wait, has this house been like burned the whole time? Or something? It's hard to tell what's real and what's not. Okay, where do I go? You want me to go that way? How do I go that way? So I have this sixth sense power that often tells me where to go next. But sometimes it's just plain misleading. Okay, let's go that way. No, this is the painting place. Yeah, I already got that memory. It's very hard to tell where you've been, where you haven't. <laughs> yes, a great game to watch before bed. Okay, there's something glowing. What is it?
Oh. Ah, I don't want to hide. Oh, bathroom. It's like a bird cage or So the house won't let me out? The house won't let me out, that's great. I can't hear you as well. <laughs> Not without the pills. I'm ready to join you now. There's no one left for me. Give me a sign you're still here. A knock. Those footsteps, your phonograph. Anything. That's creepy. <laughs> I need to move on, but I'm afraid. Please show yourself. Your sister in suffering. Felicia. This doesn't sound good. Nope. Sure it doesn't. Shit. The rope. I need to head back there, stat. Really? I don't remember how to get there. Mm, I don't think it was that staircase. You are a psychic named Cassie. Is that, like, from something? I feel like the game's showing me less over time. Hang on, Felicia. I'm coming. Am I? There we go. Goodbye, sweet baby girl. Okay, so she killed herself, right? I'm off to visit with a girlfriend. And that's the Felicia ghost, I think. Oh yeah, she's hanging. Felicia, why? Why? Cause... What happened? It wasn't your fault. None of this was your fault. Why are you doing I would have killed myself. This is crazy. What the is the point of any of this? Oh, and now I'm magically at the tree. for next goal. But she hung herself on the tree. Down in the marketplace, I spied a spry old man handing her this locket. It was inscribed, Thy healing fingers hath my eternal gratitude. Imagine my shock when he turned and I saw it was Erwith, the town cripple, and there was no cane in sight. Okay. Somebody's very old. And now where am I magically? Oh! That was just chapter one? Oh man. I don't know how much more of this game I can take. <laughs> Same house, but no, that's not possible. Hello, Cass, you need me on this, please. Here we go again. Need needing someone isn't a weakness, Cassie. Not for you, maybe. Needing is primal. Once you need something, you're not in control, you're desperate. And I desperately need you to be safe right now. And I'm not ashamed of it. I would like that. Wait till it comes. What the hell? Maybe you can help. Sorry, babe. Signal sucks. We'll pick this up later. Message send.
Okay, creepy game, I'll go that way. No, not that way. What? And now we're at a carnival. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fuck is going on with this place? I'm glad she said it. You chivalrous man, you. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that teddy. <laughs> And it did need to get more obvious. <sighs> I asked Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. What? I wrote it right on the ball. But is she remembering that? I had to be nicer to him. Jean? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Thought I was going to have a mini game of knocking down bottles. Okay, so now where do I go? I guess I did the thing here. Ah, okay. Go to the glowy doorway. <laughs> Wait, I smell... is that breakfast? Now, Eric, I think you're right that there was gas leaking in the house, and now this is all a hallucination. Hey. Oh, can't. Okay, fine. Can I have some breakfast? I could go for some breakfast. Well, I don't think it gave me a choice to turn off the radiator. Nothing's, uh, skittering when I tap my cane anymore. Okay, so there's a door I can't go into. Oh. Just walking into a wall, don't mind me. The statue. Oh! What is this? Somebody's worshipping the Statue of Liberty? Or summoning it? Or something? That's weird. Freedom. <laughs> Can't open that door. Okay. Got a bathroom. No, not a bathroom, a kitchen. I don't remember exactly where I heard about this game, but it was kickstarted about two years ago. And it intrigued me because of this interesting echolocation mechanic. And uh, I, one of my daughters is also blind, and so I thought it would be interesting to see how well this game handles it. And another viewer here, Glory, uh, says her stepmom is blind, and that some of this is quite a lot like the real thing. Okay, loads of doors I can't open. Come on. 
I am exploring to find my next goal. And I'm tapping everywhere. Tap, tap, tap. A flag? That was like a statue of a general or something? I'm not in like a Nazi house, am I? Because that would just be perfect if that were a Nazi flag. Okay, I really don't want to turn this off, but it's the only thing I can do here. Yeah, she put up, should have put more arrows up. Yep. Oh God, what happened to him? Jeez. You barely touched your plate. The game brother. should not have Go made on, me turn that off. Your body it's taught me to the leave the noise on. Action. Can she see him? Lucy who? I don't actually know what's going on anymore. Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? Shh. Give me checkered walnut any day. Oh, okay. Over there. I got this. Do you? Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Okay. Can I turn the radio on again? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well, it is 10.30 here anyway, so I am going to call it. I don't know if I'm going to continue this again. It is a very interesting game. Um, but the creepiness is pretty stressful, and the story and everything is not 100% grabbing me. So the combination of the two makes me not really want to keep going. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to stop for today. <clears throat> and uh, of course, if you guys have any opinions on whether I should continue with this or play something else next, I'm all ears. And uh, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. And thank you, Glory, for coming. And uh, Eagle, and whoever else showed up new. And uh, I will see you guys later. Have a good one.